Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody clap your hands in here. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody clap your hands. The song said, if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Does anybody have that testimony? If he did it for me, did he free your mind? Did he change your heart, created me a clean heart? He did it for me, he can do it for you. We're here to be revived. We're here to be transformed. We're here to be delivered and set free. Do it for me, Lord. Do it for me. Say it. All right, do it for me, Jesus. I believe God. Does anybody believe God? Shout yeah. Shout yeah. Woo. God, I praise you, Jesus. God, I pray. Hey, say the glory. I praise God because he did it for me. I don't want him to do it for me because he already did it. He freed my mind. He changed my heart. He changed my mouth. I am free. He can free you too. Somebody shout yeah. Hey, yeah. Woo. I'm telling folks that you are on fire for God. We you know your attitude is not right. Hallelujah. We see so much of this today. Walking around with your nose scrunched up. Quit telling folks that you are on fire. Hallelujah. Quit telling folks that you are on fire when you can't treat your wife right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Quit telling folks that you are on fire for God when you can't treat your husband right. Hallelujah. Quit telling folks that you are on fire for God when you can't even speak to your brother or your sister. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Quit telling folks that you are on fire for God when the first thing you do when you get out of church is go and gossip about somebody. Hallelujah. When I was called to ministry, I was just like Jeremiah. I was like, Lord, I'm too young. I said, Lord, I can't do this. I felt like Moses. Felt that I was not qualified. Felt that my speech wasn't eloquent enough. And I had to get down on my knees. And I had to say, Lord, I may not feel qualified. Hallelujah. I may not speak like everybody else. But I say yes to your will, God. I say yes to your way, God. I say yes, I'll obey, God. Sometimes you got to get down on your knees and pray. Hallelujah. But when you get back up... You get back up with more strength. You get back up with power. Hallelujah. You got to have a prayer life. Thank you. Look at somebody and ask them, say, neighbor, where your fire is. Oh, oh. Come on here. Come on here. Praise on my river.
up for our generation. We can't keep silent and have the truth in us and let these people just drive themselves to hell. What you gonna do, say something or just let them go to hell and die? You don't want to leave this work with your work undone. Leave this world with your work undone. We have to catch on fire. And I just want to thank God for giving me the opportunity because I've been struggling and and not I really didn't want to come up here. <laughs> Cause I'm more of a backseat person. Okay. I let the big dogs handle it. But don't need she was like, what? <laughs> we got work to do. Thank you. <laughs> but I just want to thank God for giving my fire back because there was a time where the devil was fighting me real hard. And I just lost my joy. I was like, I just got to go. I got to go somewhere quiet and get back into my Bible and read. But just as soon as I went to the altar, I just started praising God. And I was like, thank you, Lord. Just start picking up my feet. And God gave me my joy back. He gave me my shout back. He gave me power.
will see. Go to somebody. Say, neighbor, there's a fire stirring up. It's a strange fire. I've never seen it. I've never experienced it. But God is stirring up. I see black smoke. I see black smoke. I see black smoke. I see the power of God. It's contagious. It's contagious. It's moving from the front to the back. It's God is getting ready to fan the flame in this house. I have not seen ear have not heard what God is getting ready to birth out of this house. If you just take a step forward and jump, I'm going to release a fire upon you. So right now, I dare to make some room. Something's getting ready to abrupt in this house. Right where you are, I want you to take a step forward and just begin to leap. There's about to be a fire that ignites in this house that's going to shake you. Are you ready? Take a step, leap. I'm jumping out of it. I'm jumping out of it. I'm a, 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 a,
Persistent and persevere. Uh, the devil can attack your confidence in many ways. Uh, if there's an EOG or exam grade, you know, you're not expecting, you got to keep going. You know, later on in your academic career, you could face summer school or even college applications denied. Keep going. And Proverbs 16 to 9, he says, his word in his word, uh, the heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. With all that being said, saints. Trust the process. God, you know that's why I'm standing here today. Oh, Lord. Seeking God. In a very
Shouting's good. Dancing's good. But Pastor Drew, my shout can't give me what the altar can. Rolling around in the floor and I'm all about it. That can't get me what the altar can. Because when God consumes you, it's the fire and the essence of God from the altar that liberates something within to consecrate my life. I don't just want an emotion, but I want liberation power from an altar. That's it. That's it. That's it. God, I want you to consume my life. I want you to consume my way. and start telling them thank you. Come on. Come on, leap up and praise. Praise them now, Lord. Praise him, Nala. Praise him, Nala. Why you praise him? He'll heal. Why you praise him? He'll heal you. Come on, praise him, baby. I'm free and I'm burning and I'm burning and I'm burning. Up. I'm free. Watch out. I'm a consuming fire. Come on, whatever I touch gonna burn. Whatever I touch gotta catch on fire. Come on, tell him when I touch you, you got to burn. Cause I'm a consuming fire. Do a work, oh God. Continue to work on these hearts, oh God. My God, continue to work, oh God. Continue to soften, oh Lord. Continue to do it, Jesus. Continue to do it, Jesus. My God. Give them hearts of flesh. My God, give them hearts of flesh. My God, hallelujah. I am not defeated. I am not defeated. I can go through the trial. I can go through the fire. 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 I won't smell like smoke. I won't smell like smoke. I won't smell like smoke, and I won't smell like smoke. You can't do me no harm. No, no. You can't do me no harm. No. I've been through too much. I've seen too much. I've felt too much. I endure too much. You can't do me no harm. 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 Be against me. Be against me. Be against me. 
just told the Lord, I said, Lord, I don't have much of a voice today, but I do have my legs and my feet that can testify of your goodness. Anybody want to testify with your feet this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Catch on fire. Come on, come on. Catch on fire. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got 30 more seconds. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. You got of life but because of an offering God said I give you another chance I'll put you back in fellowship you better thank God for an offering my God from heaven and the Bible said these offerings that they brought they were not forced upon that's why I want you to realize young people we ain't forcing you to be saved because you have to bring yourself you are an offering and you got to do it voluntarily of your own will Y'all sitting there looking. Hey Amen. How many know we're not trying to scare you? I just want you to know it's still holiness of hell. And if you don't live holy, you're going to end up in hell. That's not fear tactics. That's just the truth of the matter. If you don't live for Jesus in hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. If you don't surrender your will, then the devil is going to have his way with you. I have to be willing to say, Lord, Lord, when I leave today I'm gonna keep putting wood on this flame I'm not gonna let my fire go out I'm gonna burn and when trials come and try to smother my flame I'm gonna get on my knees I'm gonna add some more wood to the fire now for these that's in this here now for every young person that know that God has ignited the flame in their soul this week I want you to step in the aisle quickly young people come on I'm getting ready to pray for you just step in that aisle that's it this is single file that's it y'all tell them let them speak through you. Open your mouth. Let them speak. The fire from heaven is falling upon you now. Receive it. Receive. Come for the glory. Come on, don't let the devil win. Come on, push through here. Come on, church of God. Come on, tell him he is. Come on, tell him he is. Fire. Fire, 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 Lord, fire, Lord, fire, Lord Jesus. Hey, y'all, God bless. I hope you were blessed. And I will be linking the rest of... Hello. I'll be linking the rest of the um, full services, everything in the description box. So, um, as y'all know, as y'all could have seen, God moved. The word was amazing. The word was amazing. Go watch the sermons. There's one part. All I'm gonna say is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went and were thrown into the fire and chain. And Nick, um, King Nebuchadnezzar said, hold on, I see four men loosed. They went in and chained. But in the fire, he saw four men loosed. I missed the loosed. I missed the loosed, but um, Evangelist Day Michael, he made sure we did not miss the loosed. So yeah, that was amazing. God moved, like I said, we lost our drummer, we lost our keyboardist because God poured into everybody from the youngest all the way to the oldest. And that wasn't even the late night cry shut in. 
I mean, that wasn't even the praise and worship sessions. That wasn't even the day sessions. We went witnessing. We got, we had an altar call during the day. I mean, there's so much. I'll even link um, Facebook links so you can see pictures. You can see um, when we were marching around the church. Oh my goodness. And all I want to say now is if you want to come to Ignite next year, I mean, go ahead and book. Here's the flyer. Go ahead and book your ticket. I mean, do whatever it takes. Get here because there is a young people that loves God. There is a young people that wants to live holy, sanctified lives, and dedicate their life to God and spread the word because we are on fire for God. Hashtag catch on fire. We catch on fire. Stay on fire. And get and don't get burned by the fire. Woo! Bye, y'all. See y'all next time.